hi we're still on the topic of the um, linear differential equation in order one and um, we're gonna have another air sample differential equation here say we have dy all over dx plus y cotangent x is equal to 1 so this is our given de and um, let us arrange it in linear form then we have um, linear form set in linear form that is dy over dx plus p of x multiplied by y so this is our y and this is our p of x it's equal to our q of x is 1 so our standard form once again let me write here plus p of x y is equal to q of x Okay. therefore our p of x here is cotangent x and our q of x here is 1 okay next step is to find the integrating factor or in our integrating factor is equal to the integral of p of x dx and our p of x here is cotangent x dx okay and the integral of this cotangent x the um, integral of this cotangent x is ln of sine x right and then e uh, raised to ln is just sine of x okay so this is now our integrating factor and need to multiply multiply the integrating factor we have to our equation so we have it's our equation dy over dx cotangent y is equal to y we have dy over dx plus cotangent x y is equal to 1 then multiply by our integrating factor sine x we have and uh, let me also uh, multiply dx sine x dx so we have sine x dy plus sine cotangent x y dx is equal to sine x dx okay then this part here is we say that this is equal to the exact derivative of our y and our integrating factor sine x that is equal to this whole part here then uh, right after this we can now integrate both sides to find to find our general solution okay so you need to integrate it's equal to the integral of sine x dx Okay. and the integral of this derivative is this derivative I mean this term here inside y sine x is equal to the integral of sine is negative cosine x and then our plus c that's it we now have our general solution
Okay. So once again, let's review. We have here this given uh, differential equation which is linear and in order 1. Okay. So you need to verify first if it is linear and if it is in order 1 in order for you to um, to um, use this uh, technique. Okay. So if we've already set uh, and find out that it is linear, we can now set it in the standard form dy over dx plus p of x, y is equal to q of x, if this is linear in y, okay? Since we've already, or we can set this up using this standard form, then this is now a um, uh, de that is linear in y, okay? And our p of x here is cotangent x. And by, um, by identifying that, we can now solve for our integrating factor, which is the uh, e raised to the integral of this p of x dx. Then by getting that, we can now have the integrating factor as sine of x. Then we say that if we multiply this in uh, integrating factor to our um, to our um, linear differential equation, ordinary linear differential equation, then we can now have this, uh, this uh, exact derivatives here. Okay? And then this part here is the, um, the, um, the Q of X multiplied by the integrating factor. Okay? That is the Q of X multiplied by the integrating factor. And then the DX part. Then right after that, as you can see, this side, left side here and right side here is both uh, integrable. So we can now integrate both sides to find the general solution. And by doing that, we now have y sine x is equal to negative cosine x plus c, of course. And if there's any given, um, given um, initial condition, you can now further find its particular solution. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for your time and see you on our next video. Bye-bye.